Claudio Giustizieri was born on the 24th of August, 1959, in Zambia. His parents had just moved there from Trieste, Italy, neither of them being able to speak a word of English and seek of a better life. My nonna tells me over and over, your father was the happiest child. He was always kind. He always wanted the best for the people in his life. He was gentle. He was loving. My dad loved soccer. He mastered the martial arts of judo and had the biggest appetite for food. These home videos from the early 60s tell a story. They allow us to peer into his life at his tender age. Sadly, my dad is no longer with us and I hold on to these videos for dear life, trying to look into what his life was at that age. My dad was my best friend. He would take me swimming with him on a Sunday morning and teach me how to do butterfly and breaststroke and backstroke. We'd go to coffee shops and he'd let me take a sip of his espresso. My dad was my best friend. As a six-year-old girl, curly-haired and chubby, I would run around the house with my dad, Sony VCR. His home videos were the first exposure I had to a camera. My dad would film everything from holiday trips to us getting ready for school in the morning. I fell in love with film when he passed. It gave me something to look back on, almost as if he was still with me. My dad taught me that Every moment in life is to be cherished. Film and photography lend itself to that one simple lesson. When we're growing up, we look back on where we've come from and look forward to where we're going. This, put simply, is, is beautiful. No, no, it's my shot. Not a single day has gone by over the last nine years where I don't think about him. Not a single day has gone by where I wish that I could hear his voice one more time or call his number from my mom's phone. I used to call his number for about four or five years after he passed. My mom kept paying for his bills. I just wanted to hear his voice over and over again. I guess that's the thing when someone you love so much passes. You want any kind of memory of them. And that's why these videos mean so much to me. I've chosen the career path of digital storytelling and film. And hopefully I can create these memories for myself one day. For my family and for my loved ones to look back on when I'm gone. So I encourage you, whoever's watching this, to take videos of the people you love, to record voice notes, to take photos with them, and to cherish them forever.